Hello everybody, it's Lewis here from Physics Online and this video is really aimed at students in year 12 who are just starting their A-levels and actually I suppose thinking about what they might want to be doing once they've got their A-level grades, they've applied for university and they're doing some kind of STEM subject. So I found out about this on Twitter the other day and I thought you know, I need to share this with as many people as possible because it's a project run by the University of Cambridge it's completely free and it's designed to support students who might not always have all the support they need from their home life or from their school. So it's called STEM Smart and I'll put the link in beneath this video so you can go straight to this page so you can read up uh, a little bit more about it and maybe apply for it as well. Uh, so STEM Smart um, to do with STEM subjects, so science, technology, engineering and maths. And they've um, said that smart means about subject mastery and attainment raising tuition. And really it's for people that have either experienced an educational disadvantage, disadvantage um, and also are considering applying for a STEM subject at university. But it doesn't just have to be if you're thinking about applying for Cambridge. So um, basically it's a, a free programme that lasts over 12 months. Um, you apply now. And that means in January 2022 is when you start the program. They split it into sort of three different areas. So the first bit is really about consolidating your knowledge. Um, and I think that's just going to mean that they just throw a huge amount of physics and maths problems at you using the Isaac Physics platform, uh, something I think is brilliant. I think that every student, if you're doing A level, you need to be just getting onto Isaac Physics and having a go at as many difficult problems as possible. And that's going to really help you master some of the basics. And then the second phase is really about preparing for your application to university. So this happens from the summer of 2022 right up until the end of December. And that's going to help support your UCAS application in terms of the, the kind of things that you need to, and I suppose the skills that you need to have, as well as hopefully encouraging you to apply for the right kind of course at the right kind of university. So not just the University of Cambridge. And then Phase three, this is when your UCAS applications would be in, and then all of the focus is about um, preparing for your exams in 2023, which fingers crossed should all be going ahead as normal, because ultimately the higher the grade that you get, the more choice you have, uh, and the more likely it is you're going to get your first choice offer from the university that you want to go to. So that's really the third phase. Um, in terms of who's eligible, um, there's loads of information here. They've put out to a, as wide a range of people as possible. But effectively, you have to be in a state school. Um, and also, there's certain criteria. So it might be that you've been eligible for free school meals. It might be pupil premium. It might be due to the area of the country that you, that you live in, because there are some areas where less people tend to go to university. Um, it might be that um, there's a, you know some you might have been in care at some point. It might have been that your school or college has had uh, pretty bad results previously, um, or also asylum seekers and refugees. So there's a huge amount of stuff there that you could be um, in one of these categories. And also, um, there's some other things here about uh, significant caring responsibilities for maybe somebody else in your family, or it might be that you've been estranged from your family. Um, significant disruption due to COVID, so including long periods of, periods of absence, um, I suppose in addition to what everybody else has experienced over the last year. So there's a whole load of eligib eligibility criteria for you to have a read through. And if you're not sure if you fit into one of those categories, it does say that you can apply because it's better to apply and be rejected than to miss out on this opportunity. So in terms of applying, again, uh, the website makes it quite clear. There's an online um, form that you fill in, but the application is the 31st of October 2021. So it's still several weeks away, um, but that means you're thinking about it now so that everything is set up in place. So as you go through year 12, you've got the support with subject knowledge. And as you go uh, into year 13, you've got support with your application uh, for universities and then the final exam support. And this is all mentored by students from the University of Cambridge. Um, but there's, you know, not just online support, but I think there's also some residential trips for you to go on as well. Anyway, have a look there. It's worth applying for. Um, and don't forget, I do have plenty more resources over at alevelphysicsonline.com that you can access completely for free in year 12 as you're starting your course. Uh, and if you want to have even more support, um, then you can always sign up for the premium plan for the second year of content. 
But yeah, hopefully this is useful. Uh, if you think it's useful, please share this video. Subscribe to my channel to stay updated with any notifications and any other opportunities that I find out about. And uh, good luck with your studies. Thank you.